Well, I got started in uh, engine development and engine modification at quite an early age. I just always had an interest in making things make more power and go faster. My time at Kawasaki Motors Corp USA and with Kawasaki Heavy Industries of Japan was uh, about 16 years total. I worked in um, um, prototype development and research and development, worked with the um, pro motocross team and uh, worked as crew chief and mechanics for, for many of the riders. You know, my time at Team Kawasaki, of course, I was with Jeff Ward the last six years of his career, Mike LaRocco and Eddie Warren, Billy Lyles. Um, those guys were all great to work with too. I really just, just enjoyed all of it. I've been one of the original customers that uh, they had here when they opened the company. This was a chance for me to come and, and work with the people here at Millennium and, and uh, work with uh, research and development for them and develop, help develop some of the performance kits and everything that they're working on. And I am called technology manager. I'm involved in any kind of new product development that we do here. MSpec products and services are uh, designed and intended to be a complete package. We supply the correct gaskets, we supply the correct piston rings, everything like that. We know how to modify the head and the porting to ensure correct performance with, with these big bore kits. The goal for MSpec long term is to keep expanding on our product and provide complete packages that are, are basically a bolt-on for anyone who's you know, qualified to work on their own bike. You don't have to worry about anything other than, than the correct doing the correct tuning on their end and, and being ready to go to the track. Larger bores are good for, for many riders because they will always make more power if done correctly. A bigger engine is always capable of producing more torques. The two strokes are much more complicated to tune. It appears to be a simple engine. You can just whip it apart, shave the head, raise the port, and put it back together. But really, one thing affects many other things in those engines. So to get big power out of them, everything has to be balanced. Four strokes, there, it's a little easier to change one thing and feel something different. But it, it goes back to the same thing as being the total combination and the total package. Two-stroke cylinder porting, is it a black art or a science? It really is more of a black art. Um, there are a lot of shops out there that will tell you that it's a science and you need a certain port duration for a certain RPM. In the end, there is no perfect recipe that works on all engines. You need a lot of experience to do it correctly, and I guess if you want to call that a black art, that's what I'd call it.